What up guys, Zarek, Underdogs of Addiction. Today's video is on the struggles of learning to be okay alone, learning to fall in love with yourself and be your own best friend. You know, a lot of us who struggle in addiction had attachment issues growing up. Maybe we had uh, one parent that was, you know, neglectful. Maybe both parents were neglectful emotionally, physically, in many different ways. And so we adapted a lot of codependent strategies um, to survive. And one thing that I've struggled with is um, getting into relationships with people and handing off my own wounded inner child to them, hoping that they could provide the things that I need to provide for myself, whether that's affirmation, making myself feel special, making myself feel loved. Um, and sometimes in those relationships, those a lot of the women I'd be with is they would want that as well. Um, they would they would need that affection or need that love and then some of them were the opposite where they were very uncomfortable with praise and affection and all those things but where I'm getting at is I know myself and I'm realizing every relationship I've ever been in my life since I could remember has always been some type of codependent trauma bonded type of relationship and every single one of them has has always ended in the same fashion and my most recent one was like a month ago and it ironically was with the person who was my first love when I was 12 years old um, and I'm finding that towards the end when that person pulled away I um, I had given up myself to them my, my I, I had been relying on them to fill myself up to love me to give me affection to make me feel important realizing that I stopped doing those things for myself earlier in the relationship I actually had left the relationship and I was uncomfortable with the person giving me all those things so it's such a weird dichotomy is that this woman was giving me all that love giving me all that affection and I ran away from it and then when we got back the second time she didn't really do that as much and then I was craving it and it's, I think it's my own um, way of avoiding emotional intimacy. Because if you cannot be intimate with yourself, how are you gonna be intimate with another? I literally asked myself the other day, I was like, damn, I don't remember them be there being a time where I ever woke up and just told myself, hey, Zarek, I love you. Like, it sounds funny. Or giving yourself a hug. Or waking up and telling yourself 10 things that you like about yourself. Um, and I realized my whole life, whether it was through addiction to relationships, addiction to drugs and alcohol, to success, I was always just trying to fill that void in my inner child. And, um, you know, I did years of counseling and treatment, and I entered into a program called Inner Bonding with Margaret Paul, and that's the best work that I've found that is really helping me learn how to fall in love with myself and take care of myself and take responsibility for myself instead of giving myself up in relationships. So I guess I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, if anyone could relate to this, of the feeling of, you know, going into need ships, not relationships, but need, where relationships of need and control. Um, I know a few secure people that I grew up with, and some of them been together since high school, and you can just, I always knew that I was different from them, but my goal is to get to a point where I am high self-esteem, where I'm secure myself so then I could finally carry out a loving sharing relationship with someone else because um, that is the goal right to start a family have a loving care relationship with someone else but it's just been very difficult but the beauty beautiful thing is every relationship I've learned and I've always been open to learning and so since I was 20 years old so that's 15 years ago I've been trying to figure myself out because I knew there was some stuff going on and I'm getting closer. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys, especially all of us in the underdogs of addiction and addiction community. Um, I know a lot of you guys struggle with those trauma bonded relationships because part of addiction is abandoning yourself. Abandoning yourself is 
at the root of addiction. When we use, when we use drugs, we're ban abandoning our feelings, we're abandoning that inner child in ourselves and escaping. And in the end, it just leaves us in more pain. So my challenge for myself and my challenge for everyone watching this is I want you to wake up and just start the day with telling yourself like, I love you, you're important, you're valuable, you matter. And just do some things, loving actions towards yourself. What do you like to do? What music do you like to listen to? What food? Putting, your, putting yourself first and filling your own cup and then maybe later in the day doing something for someone else when you feel like you've met your own needs. Because one of the best things I learned at Treehouse Recovery in Portland from my counselor was I'm responsible for meeting and taking care of my own self. And it's not about what happens to me, it's how I cope with what happens to me. And so that's just what I wanted to speak to you guys about today is, um, you know, after this last breakup, like I said, with the girl that I dated when I was 12, my first love, ironically, <clears throat> there was definitely a trauma bond there. Both of us come from single parent households, alcoholic fathers. There was a lot of neglect and abuse. And in our relationship, we both were operating in our wounded selves. And I have a certain belief system and I'm trying to heal and do things, but this person doesn't really, doesn't really think like me. And so it's kind of hard to want to heal and be in a relationship with somebody who is not open to learning and and this person is in denial about multiple addictions some serious addictions and so i've had to learn to lovingly disengage but at first when we broke up i was in my wounded self and you know guys how the, when your ego gets into it you're arguing fighting blaming other people but at the end of the day we always attract to us people that are our equivalent whether it's equivalently insecure or equivalently secure are equivalently healed or unhealed so I know that this is my journey and so my goal for these next six months to a year is to just become my own best friend fall in love with myself as weird as that sounds and just take care of myself and fulfill myself so I could then go into my future relationships without that need and so that's just where I'm at today. Happy Memorial Day. Rest in peace to my grandfather, Harold Whitten, passed away at a young age, sergeant in the Army. And uh, we're just here at the marina in Olympia, Washington, my hometown, you know, doing some loving action. Woke up, got a walk in, got some healthy groceries, making this video for you guys. And that's what it's all about. So, you know, this, this channel is about all of us coming together and just being real and honest about what we're struggling with and i'm just trying to share my experiences and what i'm learning to help other people so thank you guys for watching and make sure you tell yourself that you love yourself today